Hello everyone, welcome back to Sakura Agent. In the last episode, we had a heart-to-heart -heart with our ladies after one got covered with what could only be described as very viscous suntan lotion. And that's all it was. There's no reason to think anything more of it. But now we have arrived back and Masumi has some questions. Why are your eyes red, Kimiko? Th they're not red. But they are. Really, they aren't. Please don't worry about me. What? Ha Happy? <laughs> I think, uh, I think someone messed up the dialogue there, but I'm Whoopsie. sure that's... Well, if you say so. I need to change the topic so she leaves Kimiko alone. Hey, Rookie. Yeah? Want me to tell you some stories about my time in the agency? Uh, yes, please. Masumi excitedly plops herself onto a chair. I want to hear everything. What's the coolest thing you've ever done? I've ever done? Well, that's kind of a hard question. He doesn't really do cool things so much as disobedient things. Like that time where I used a roller as a... A roller? A roller as a weapon? My Road brain roller? jumped to roller coaster as a weapon, and that would have been a much cooler story. Or a paint roller. A roller? An incursion species which rolls uh... towards its enemies before detonating. Best deal dealt with at a distance, else it causes serious damage. I had no choice. I either threw that thing or had to have it blow up in my face. And what shocks me is that you can simply look back on those things with complete indifference. If I were holding on to one of those things, I would be doing my best to forget about the whole experience. I want to use a roller as a weapon, too! It's called bomb bowling. Nobody liked it in Skyward Sword. And I really don't think you should, either way. Their detonations would probably injure even you, Masumi. Aww. I want to do fun things, too, though. Don't worry, Rookie. You'll get your chance soon enough. One of the unfortunate parts of our job is that something completely unexpected will happen, and you will probably have to do something really stupid in order to get out of it alive. I can't wait! <laughs> I'll squish all of them! Some tiny part of me feels sorry for those extra-dimensional invaders. This girl seems to absolutely love stepping on them. It's like how a kid would be with an ant's nest, except the kid smashing them with a magnifying glass instead of burning them. If she's squashing space squids, though, I have no complaints. Sometimes you'll need to approach a situation with a plan other than squashing everything. But that plan works so well and in my hometown... I don't know what incursion species you've encountered, but the most straightforward approach isn't always going to be the solution. Kimiko's right on this one. You're going to need to be creative if you want to be able to beat everything. What if you encounter a species which flies or something? I'll jump after it! Let's presume you aren't able to catch it by jumping. What will you do then? Throw something at it! <laughs> well, I guess that would work. But have you thought about how to throw things? Um, pick them up and throw them? I think you missed my point completely. She just looks mystified. Is there a correct way to throw things? Well, yes. I think I know the point what you're trying to make, Akira. Have you seen any sports where things are thrown, Masumi? They used to play baseball in my town before the fields got torn up. Well, as you might observe there, there's always a certain technique to those sports. Throwing javelins, shot puts, softballs, the principle behind it is understanding the mechanisms of your body and exploiting it for maximum effect. The same thing applies to other things, too. If all you do is just swipe your hand in a, at an opponent, it's not going to be particularly effective. In short, what you need is technique, rookie. If you actually combined technique with your enormous strength, you could be a terrifying opponent to deal with. Masumi's eyes light up. I see what you mean. If I might add to that, when I conjure my objects, I also have to consider how to form the object I want. For a gun, I have to memorize how a gun actually works. While I could theoretically do without it, it's far more effective to do so. Yeah, I understand you. But it might be a little hard for me to practice. She has a point there. If she actually threw a punch at full force, it would probably create a shockwave. I don't know the upper limits of her strength. Let's not worry about that for now. The agency has facilities which can help you train, so we'll do it then. No problem! Masumi seems con content. I hope my town's doing okay while I'm away. The agency said they'd set up an outpost there to deal with incursions. 
You shouldn't worry. The agency looks after its own. All right. I was worried when they told me they wanted to offer me a job, but I got paired up with you two. And you're not so scary. <laughs> How exactly would she be afraid of anyone? Uh, who knows? It's kind of nice to be around people who get me too. What do you mean? My strength was no secret in town. But even so, no matter how nice I was to everyone, I think they were scared of me. Aw. Oh. That's not exactly unreasonable. I don't like that feeling. What I wanted to do was make everyone smile and keep them safe. But even with all this strength, it seems like I can't do that. You shouldn't worry about it too much. With your gift, you're helping a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. I know how hard it is, how hard it can be if you're different. Masumi must seem akin to a demigod compared to the average person. I'm going to bed early. We need our strength to fight off the incursions. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, it's been a long day. See you all in the morning? Sure thing. Ugh, said that wrong. Understood. Good night, then! I wonder what the incursions... when the incursions will arrive. I just hope we will be ready. Uh... Akira! <sighs> Wake up, Akira! Uh, five more minutes. What is that? The alarm's going off! The incursion's happening now! Ah, got it. I immediately grabbed my pistol. Where's Masumi? She ran ahead. Damn it, rookie. Come on, let's hurry up and catch up to her. Sure enough, Masumi is happily swiping away at space squids emerging from the water. Their flying body parts evaporate into black mist before they even hit the ground. Looking up at the sky, we see a gigantic black spot opening like a grotesque eldritch eye. Shadowy creatures are pouring out of it and falling into the sea. Hey, Akira, Kimiko! This is the most fun I've had in ages! <laughs> the beach is absolutely crawling with these damn things. They're emerging from everywhere. Cover me! Got it. I begin to open fire on them, but something doesn't seem right. These things look different, don't they? Now that you mention it, we should be careful around these things. I see the outlines of a weapon forming in her hands. Are you making what I think you are? Hand cannon isn't going to cut it with this many numbers. Even with Masumi there, their numbers do seem to be infinite. Kimiko finishes materializing her weapon. A grenade launcher. Get down, Masumi! Uh? A loud boom echoes through the air. A white-hot shell flies into their ranks and explodes, pulverizing anything caught within the blast radius. Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> don't get distracted, Masumi. I begin opening fire, but my bullets don't seem to be hurting the damn things. This is a different species. Normal firearms aren't working. It's then that I begin to notice that they're getting bigger, too. One of them seems to be grappling with Masumi. This one's tough. She tries to tear its tentacles off, but they're too slippery for her to get a proper grip. What? I can't grab it! She tries to wrap her arms around one tentacle, only for it to slip out completely, all while the other ones are encircling her. Let go! She slams her fist into the ground, creating a shockwave. It's big enough to make the space squid let go of her. Another shell lands into the center of its mass, making it detonate into a spray of black mist. Are you alright, Masumi? Y yeah I'm fine. She looks a little shaken, though. More of those things are lumbering toward her, sea brine dripping from their unsightly masses. Got another weapon you can spare, Kimiko? Give me a minute. We don't really have a minute. Masumi is still striking back, but I can plainly see that her confidence has been shaken. Bringing, down, bringing one fist down, she attempts to squash one of the entanglers. The creature actually separates into two pieces, so only one of them faces the wrath of her fist. What? I've never seen them do something like that before. The other half leaps on her, trying to entangle her. Its slippery surface makes it hard for her to get a grip and pull it off. Get off! Get off me! It's then that Kimiko throws me another weapon. I open fire, blasting the creature off her. Masumi stumbles backward, losing her balance. Don't give up! The fight's far from over! Right! She gets back up. It's going to take ages to clean up this beach. I better just grip my teeth and bear with it. Okay. Cool. After, 
an out. Did he say breach or beach? He said breach, but they look similar enough and you're looking at a beach. Yeah. Anyway, after about an hour, the breach closes. All of us are completely exhausted. It's over, I think. I haven't felt this tired in so long. The two of them look completely exhausted. Let's head back to the house. It seems to be over for now. We need to get to rest and get our strength back. Gladly. Yeah, I really need to. It would have been so much nicer if I could have just spent a quiet day on the beach with two girls. But I guess we can't always have what we want. But I could ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Give please. me what I want, please. Yes. Anyway, the three of us begin to stumble back to the house. But I stop in my tracks. I see some weird anomaly right next to me. Looking into it, I can see a picture looking into something else. What? Okay. Or somewhere else, maybe. Akira? What's wrong? You two go ahead. I need to inspect something. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Just go ahead without me. I'd rather not make them worry about it for now. This anom uh, anomaly looks like I can reach into it. It's like an incursion, but I can see what's on the other side. Well, here goes nothing. Putting my head inside, I look around to see what's on the other side. Uh. The fuck? What? Hold on, let me drop the. Yeah. I'm the sure none of that has The on the right to... has, like, no fucking lower spine with the way her butt's angled. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, how are we able to see taint and also side boob and also most of her face? Jelly spine. Although I think that both ladies are pretty cute. Pretty cute. I wonder if this is from an alternate soccer game. Maybe. Two girls. What are two girls doing on the other side of this breach, I guess it is? Who knows what this is, but they're pretty cute, whoever they are. I'm liking the look of the swimsuits they're wearing. They're well endowed, too, in all the right places. God, this would be a whole different Let's Play if I did this part in Mr. Dr. Bad Touch voice. All we do for a moment is stare at each other. Seiji? What on earth is this, Seiji? What am I seeing? Who the hell is Seiji? You aren't Seiji? But he looks so much like him. What the hell is that supposed to mean? They are probably from another Sakura game. It's, I, I wonder if it's Sakura Beach, because that's one of the ones we didn't play, and the ladies look fairly similar to the... Well, whatever. My name's Akira, and I don't know anyone called Seiji. You don't speak anything like him either. You're far too confident. <laughs> but Seiji's a lot better than he was, right? Yeah, he's even been con confident enough to sleep with us. He's made a lot of progress. <laughs> Look, I don't know who this Seiji guy is. I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm a guy who deals with unusual things for a living. What is it you can see from your end? Looks like you're poking your head out of thin air. Yeah, it looks kind of silly. <sighs> look, it's been a long day for me, so please just work with me here. Do I look distorted or am I perfectly clear to you? This seems to be a clear-cut breach to a different time, reality, or place. Perfectly clear. Yeah. Look like Seiji, but you definitely aren't a fool like he is at times. Am I supposed to take that as a compliment or something? Well, he's really awkward, shy, and a bit of a blockhead. All right, all right. I don't need your life story. Thanks for cooperating with me. Okay, Akira. I'm going to pull my head out now. Make <laughs> That's sure. That's what she said. <laughs> I shouldn't have found that that funny. Make sure you stay on your side, okay? I don't want two hot chicks chasing after me in my world. There's no way I can assure you that this breach is going to stay open. Okay. Thanks, girls. Have a good day now. No problem, not Seiji. Don't call me that. He's definitely not Seiji. Definitely not. Alright, that was weird. After a few seconds after I- All Sakura protagonists look the same. <laughs> A few seconds, although, I guess in context of the game, if we are all the same players, then, yeah, whatever, I'm overthinking it. A few seconds after I pull my head out, the breach seems to distort a little bit. It expands and contracts a few more times. Those two are still looking at me from the other side. Hey, what are you looking at? 
It's then that the breach closes completely, any trace of it vanishing into thin air. That's a good place to end it on, because those are my thoughts exactly, Akira. We'll have to we'll have to get Sakura Beach one of these days. Whatever the fuck that was. Whatever the fuck that was. But that will do it for today. Hopefully Akira can figure things out. And the Akamura and I will see you tomorrow for another stream. What if at uh, the end episode. of episode Wow, that happens after I've spent a fortnight doing streams. Go ahead. I wonder if like the incursions are coming from another Sakura protagonist. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Bye everyone. Bye.